Alex Pena with MMA Mania. I'm here, Chase Gibson, who's coming off a first round submission back in September. Chase, how are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Um, yeah, just um, good to be talking with you again, man. Um, it's been a few it's been a few months since your fight. How you feeling? Mm -hmm. I feel good. I feel great, man. My weight's good. Uh, I've been training, just learning, growing, trying to. Keep it going, man. Get to the next level. Um, you know, the, there wasn't much to the fight, right? You, you went in there, got the job done, like you like you usually do. Um, mm -hmm. how do you feel about that performance? I felt great. I went in there. I did what I do. I got the submission um, with my bread and butter, and I feel like I can I can submit anybody with that series, man. Yeah, it was it was nasty. It was nice. Um, did you learn anything from that fight, even though it was just a minute? Uh, I mean, I just have just more confidence in, in, in my game. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time now. I've fought a lot of different kinds of styles and different kinds of opponents, and I'm just really learning to really, like, trust in my skills and, and trust in what I do against anybody. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, I mean, it's been a few months, man. Like, what do you want next? Uh, man, I want the big show, man. I want to fight Josh Emmett. I heard he pulled out. Uh, sorry, I heard Giga had to pull out from injury. I'd love to have the opportunity to kind of show up and, and do what I do and do it at the highest level. Dude, that's that's a crazy fight. Plus, it'd be NorCal versus SoCal. I mean, it's that's right. Kind of makes sense. Um, uh, what about that fight interests you, man? I mean, Emmett's he's a gamer, man. Um, he's a gamer. He comes to fight, and I've always felt like I I do my best with guys that come forward, and um. Yeah, he's he's a gamer, man. He's a, he's a top ten opponent, and uh, to have the opportunity to to not only fight him but to beat him would be amazing for my career, and uh, it would be an honor. Um, you know, I guess if the matchmakers were watching this video, what would you say to them to say yeah. to get to? What would you do? Like, sell yourself? Like, why do you deserve this fight? Um. I've been doing this for almost a decade. Um, I fought on the, some of the highest shows you could fight for. I fought a contender series on one week notice at 55. I went to a decision um, against a against a tough opponent. I had a good showing. Um, I fought LFA. I've, I've beaten the LFA, the current LFA featherweight champion. I have a win over. Um, I have five knockouts, five submissions. I have 10 finishes, eight of them being first round. I, I come to fight. You know, say you get this Josh Emmett fight, man. How do you see this fight going? Um, I see it being a fight, 100%. It's going to be a dog fight from the jump. Nothing's going to be given. I'm going to have to take everything that I want. I'm going to have to make it nasty and fight. And, you know, I'm going to have to just – I'm going to have to weather the storm. I'm going to be confident and comfortable in the fire and, uh, you know, find those openings, man, and make it happen. Uh, obviously, you've been around the sport for a long time, um, you know, and I'm, you know, from California, so – Yep. What do you think of uh, Josh Emmett as a fighter? As a fighter, uh, he, he's exciting, man. Uh, when I watch him, dude, I, I'll root for him, bro. Like, the dude, is he's fun to watch, man. He's uh, – I got nothing but respect for the dude. I love it. I love it. Um, awesome. Well, man, I I, I think you've – um, you know, there's always a, always a thing of, you know, UFC bringing in, bringing in prospects, bringing in people. And I, my argument for bringing it for people bringing in a little older and someone who's been around the game, like you, like you've been, you've been, you've been, you've been everywhere. Like right? you have, you have went, you have big wins, you have big losses. You fought for big organizations. Uh, you fought the killers. You fought in contender series. You fought in uh, main events. You fought, in, you know, I, I, yeah. I feel like, you know, veterans like yourself, You've put your you've put your work in on on the regional scene. It's only a matter of yeah. time before you get your shot. Do, do you feel the same way? Yeah, man. I uh, I definitely feel like that. This is definitely the time in my career where I feel like I'm still, you know, I'm I'm 33. I'm at my peak strength wise, speed wise. Like I feel good, man. I feel like I have the experience. I have the knowledge. I have I have the resume. Like you said, I've fought the good guys, man. I've found that I've only lost to the to the top dude, and I have wins against top dudes. Right. I've been there. I'm ready for it. Um, I, I take this fight on one week notice, bro. You know, I'm ready. Like, I'll take it. I love it. I love it. And then uh, finally, last thing before I let you go, 
your, your actually your last loss, Hyder Mill, got signed to the UFC. I guess, uh, what do you think of his fight? Mm-hmm. Uh, his fight in the Contender Series. Um, I mean, he he did what he 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 did what he does, man. He's a he's a dog. Um, respect to him. He's a he's a he's a fun guy to watch. Um, I still feel like that was a little bit of an early stoppage in my fight, man. Um, and it's you know it is what it is, bro. I can't question like listen this is what happened happened um i don't question the will of god right it is what it is respect to him um but it's a bummer because you know i talked to him afterwards and he didn't have another round left in him his rib was broken he left in a left in a stretcher um it was you know but respect to him man he he made it happen he he landed a big shot um i uh it's actually man you know the 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 highs and the lows the wins and the losses like I felt pretty strong against him, man. I felt really good um, with the control, with the takedowns. Um, but you know, he he did he did what he had to do. He, he got out of the choke. He, he landed a big shot. You know, I feel like it was a little early, but you know, when I watched the replay, it did look bad for a second. But how I reacted, you know, it's a bummer, but it is what it is, man. I can't I can't be mad, bro. Um, it is what it is. That was another NorCal versus SoCal fight. So you get this Josh Hammond fight. That's right. It's a it's a you, you get to redeem yourself, yeah. That's right, man. Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be cool, awesome. man. I need that. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to plug your social media, any sponsors, you want to thank anybody, and just one last time, why should you get this fight, man? Because I, you know what, I took a fight on Contender Series on one week notice, right? I I didn't spar for eight months leading up to that fight, right? One, I went up a weight class on one week notice. I went the distance. I had a good showing, right? I've won four to five fights since then. I beat the current LFA featherweight champ. I, I beat three, two, two guys, uh, two undefeated guys, um, because I put the time in, man. I fought the guys that took the fights. Um, I'm exciting. I got a lot of finishes, a lot of first round finishes. I go for it. That's it. That's all I can say.